Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I will be painting this uh, mixed media bird painting on canvas. Uh, some of you might know that I do enjoy mixed media, I do enjoy anything to do with arts, especially mixed media, like I said, watercolours, but I also create my um, mixed media bullet journal. Uh, today I'm working on this uh, 12 by 12 inches stretch canvas and I'm using a lot of scrap paper uh, to do the first layer, the, the collage. I'm applying my scrap papers with a matte medium. Um, I will share the links to all the products that I've used to create this canvas in the description later on. By the way, I'm really sorry if you can hear any noises from outside. I've um, closed all the windows where I am, but unfortunately I can stay here uh, the noises uh, of the class from outside. And you probably can hear them too, so I really apologize for that. After I've dried the first layer, um, the matte medium, uh, I'm applying those acrylic inks. Again, I will uh, share the links to the materials I've used in the description later on. Uh, and I'm using, I believe it's a raw amber and a turquoise and one of the yellow colors. Two of them are eggs and one of them is a fluid acrylic paint. And I'm just applying them at the top, as you've seen, and spraying them with water, letting them flow, letting them mix, creating those beautiful, beautiful colors. So here I'm using uh, my black woody crayon just to make some outlines of what I'm planning to be trees. And here using white gesso to create those trees and to blend out the background a little bit. Here I'm using a pale amber acrylic paint and a stencil and I'm basically making leaves in the trees. Uh, as you can see I keep uh, putting my bird on the canvas because I want to you know see what the composition is going to be like and as you've just seen I also added a little bit of gesso because I don't want this bed to be lost um, on top of that background. Here I'm just adding some extra um, scribbles with my woody pencil. So I picked up another woody and I'm drawing with that brown um, crayon and adding matte medium on top just to activate it and make it permanent and also adding a bit more branches and leaves or 
uh, using my stencil and I believe this is raw amber paint that I've used. Here just using my Posca pens to add a little bit more detail to the bird and a fine liner to add some scribbles in the background. And again white woody and also that beautiful turquoise blue woody I absolutely love that color uh, I think turquoise is definitely one of my favorite colors definitely honestly most of the time I don't even know what I'm doing <laughs> I just go with the flow. I follow my intuition. That's why you'll probably see me going in with the postcards and with like extra paints. Here, as you can see, I'm using a little fun brush and I'm trying to um, make this bird a little bit more feathery, if that makes sense. But yeah, like I said, half the time I really don't know what I'm doing, and that's why I think. Art is so wonderful uh, because you can literally just go with your gut and you know just play for me it's all about having fun it's all about you know playing I'm sealing everything with Mod Podge um, I actually quite like it as a sealant and here I'm adding uh, extra shades with my India ink fabric Time to paint the sides and also I'm dabbing a little bit of the same colour um, where the top of the canvas meets um, the sides. And adding some white splashes. I feel like everything is quite dark so a little bit of that white would really um, make things pop. Again, as you can see, I'm adding a few extra details with white Posca marker. And I decided to add some texture paste. And um, this is golden crackle paste to create the branch that the bird is sitting on and after it dried it created this beautiful cracks that really look like a bark of a tree and I really really love it so I'm using my uh, acrylic inks again to color it and I'm just wiping the excess with the tissue yeah just have a look at that isn't that wonderful I absolutely love it I think this is the best part of the uh, whole picture for me. Extra details and I am very happy with this. I am very happy how this turned out. I love the colours, I love the turquoise and the amber mixed together and the bark on the tree. Mm, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time take care bye bye